Winston Edmondson here with Studio B. Now, when we're walking around EMC World, we're hearing a lot about virtualization. We've got Bill Reed who's going to give us a little bit more insight on virtualization. Bill, how are you, sir? I'm doing great today. Thank you, Winston. So tell us, what, what, is the, uh, what are the trends in virtualization right now? Well, we've taken a virtual first strategy at EMC IT. Everything that we put in our data center is virtual. Everything that we've done over the last eight years has grown to saying even things like SAP, ERP platforms, we're going on a virtual platform. Pretty impressive. Now, that you're seeing that happen, but you guys were really at the, the forefront uh, leading that trend. Tell us a little bit about uh, what the future holds. We look at it as more cloud tendencies, things like elasticity for end of quarter loads. We think about bursting from private cloud into a more of a hub hybrid or a public cloud capability, taking some of the core components that used to be traditional brick and mortar in your data center. How can we take those capacity and components, scale to business needs during end of quarter needs to ensure we've got the performance and the availability on the systems? We've got a lot of CIOs that watch uh, our program and some of them are holdouts. They, they, they don't feel like the time is right, but help me talk them into it. Tell, tell, tell us uh, some maybe case studies or, or scenarios that, that might make sense. Sure, I can use our own internal IT project that we just finished here. We have a project that we call the MC Propel, which is essentially our replatforming to an SAP virtualization stack on our VCEV block. We have now finished our third quarter on this new platform, and what we see from a result standpoint, I think, speak for itself. System utilization running at 20 to 25 percent. Spikes in the systems go unnoticed to the back-end system users. We see the system performing, we see the availability and the scalability giving us a platform for growth in the future. So I think if we look back at our experiences and our best practices that we've learned in the SAP world, we can take that and apply that to pretty much any platform that's out there to support any customer. Now, we have, uh, we've heard a lot from people that say this makes sense for just about everyone. I mean, you can really look, and it does. But I think there are some industries that uh, it might be more urgent than others. Uh, rattle off a few of those that, that really need to get this in gear. Well, I think anybody that's looking at age technology in their data center. Um, we had an issue a few years back in our own data centers. It was less of an issue, but more of a business challenge. We had run out of capacity in our data center. We had plenty of floor space, but we didn't have power. It was going to take us about a year to get that power installed in our data center, but we couldn't stop the business from deploying new capabilities. So we, we, we had a program internally that was called Sweep the Floor, where we literally looked for opportunities to sweep out physical gear and move it to a, a virtualized cluster to get more density and more control on the exe exe existing power flow footprint that we had in the data center. So that P to V migration, we jumped from around 20% virtualization to about 50 to 60% virtualization and continued to support our business moving forward. So if companies are looking for a platform refresh, rather than just doing physical to physical, I think this is a great, great use case and a great case study for them to think about. So the bottom line is, uh, now is the right time to sweep the floor. Uh, Bill Reed, thanks for joining us. Studio B, checking out.